In other news, Pakistan's president exchanged his military uniform for a suit and tie today and tried to calm concerns over his authoritarian rule. Pervez Musharraf even promised elections by mid-January. But as the CBC's Adrian Arsenault reports from the capital tonight, Musharraf left emergency rule in place and many questions unanswered. To be an average Pakistani now is to go about your life not knowing what's happening to your nation. Crucially, what's afoot in that white complex below. It's President Pervez Musharraf's compound, and in a rare sighting since he declared emergency rule, he tried today to explain his decision. Whatever it's cost, I bear responsibility. And I stand by it. I stand by it because I think it was in national interest. In a long and hectoring session, Musharraf sweating, sniping at the media and judiciary. He said he had to suspend the constitution. Terror groups were gaining ground and the government was paralyzed. His frustration not helped when the lights went out. There wasn't much clarity when they came back on. He called for elections by January 9th, but offered no date to end emergency rule. And didn't seem to think holding elections under those conditions would be a problem. I think it is quite the opposite that you are saying. It will ensure absolutely fair and transparent elections. This was Musharraf trying to take back the agenda and he hoped respect. I don't command by the ranks that I wear. I command through personal example and this army is with me all along, all along. Even if I'm not in uniform, this army will be with me, let me assure you. One thing he was assured today was American support. At the end of the day, Musharraf understands something important about the United States, that the White House may not like what he has said or done. It's been quite clear about that. But it fundamentally needs him, and so it will be patient with him. And it was. Despite tough images that still emerge from Pakistan, the White House praised the election timetable of its key ally in the war on terror. That does little to appease some Pakistanis, afraid of being punished now for simply being critical of the government. Any guy can walk in and he would say, well, you were bad-mouthing Pakistan and president of Pakistan to foreign journalists. What do I do? Do, we, do I have any security? For God's sake, it's not a question of election at the moment. Is the question of my fundamental rights. Rights disappearing daily as thousands of those who speak up in protest continue to be thrown in jail, silenced. Adrian Arsenal, CBC News, Islamabad.